We're super excited. Uh, we are the official brewery for Ottawa 2017. And uh, when we first sort of uh, thought about what this would mean, uh, at first we were thinking, well, we should make a beer for 2017. And then we thought, you know what? The beer that's been our success and the beer that is Ottawa's beer is Lugtread. So first and foremost, uh, Lugtread is the official beer for Ottawa 2017. Every single bottle, we're already putting the logo on, and every single bottle for the entire uh, year is going to be sporting the 2017 logo. And it's, it's really nice for us because we've always felt that you know, we, were, we were Ottawa's beer, and now, at least for 2017, it's official. Um, but we're doing a lot more. Um, for every official Ottawa 2017 event, we've promised to bring at least one other Ottawa brewery uh, to showcase not just our own beer, but everything. Uh, we've got a vibrant, amazing craft beer community in the city, and we want to show that off. And then the other thing that we're doing is because this is really, it's called Ottawa 2017, and it's, it's celebrating Canada's 150th in the national capital, but it is really, it's, it's a party to celebrate Canada. So we're going right across the country and we're doing a different collaborative beer every single month uh, to highlight different parts of our communities, our cultures, our geography. Uh, so every single month there's going to be a different collaborative beer we're going to be releasing. Uh, and what we're basically trying to do with this is define Canada through a series of beer and, and sort of interpret what Canadiana is through the, through the lens of beer goggles. <laughs> As part of our 10th anniversary, we've been looking for uh, a legacy project, something to give back to the global community. And uh, we found that with uh, Afina Uweniza, uh, who's an entrepreneur uh, based in Kigali, Rwanda. She wants to open the first craft brewery in Rwanda and the first female-run brewery, period, in Rwanda. And uh, so we've been uh, working with her to help get her the financing required, uh, the training required, the skills development, um, as well as building a, sort of the capacity for her. We're not going to take any ownership and we're not going to take any profit from the, the venture. This is uh, our, our gift to the global community. Uh, to see craft beer uh, in Rwanda, I think, is a very special thing. And uh, it's a unique challenge for us, uh, but also a unique way that we're able to help. Uh, and uh, so we're very excited about it. And uh, we're in the process right now of raising money uh, through a Kickstarter campaign for the bottling line. Uh, Newland Systems, which is a Canadian equipment manufacturer, has come on board and they've donated an entire brew house, which is amazing. Uh, we've just had so much uh, outpouring of support that uh, we're, we're really, really confident we're going to be able to, to get this project off the ground. And uh, lastly, we've you know, made some amazing friends in, uh, in a part of the world that we, we didn't know very much about. So it's been very cool.